Club Trill. No, it's not a secret society, a gang, a rap label, or a tribe on Survivor. It's the blog of Ohio State senior and proverbial bench warmer, Mark Titus. As you can see here from his Rainmaker video that has gone viral, he's got game. But unlike Jesus Shuttlesworth and the Spike Lee joint, the future Hollywood movie about Titus will be about the explosion of his blog, not his vertical. You know, Mark is, is unique. Mark is unique. I think he's one of the most brilliant people I've ever met. He's a real smart guy, you know, he was in pre-med. The avenues for him to find success in life, uh, he's, he's paved a lot of roads for himself. He's real creative, he, he has a mind of his own, you know, with the blog that he has, and, you know, just bringing a, a lot of fun to the team. Mr. Trill himself, I feel like I'm part of the club, club show right now. This is the spot on the bench, I understand? This is the spot right here. This is where, this is where I do my work, I guess, during the game. <laughs> well, I think you do your work online after the game, but we'll get into that in a minute. But, I mean, how did this even happen? I mean, you started as a manager. I know you were cool with, with Odin and Conley. Take me through the story of you getting here and you making club trip. Yeah, um, I, was, I was a pretty good player in high school. I was getting recruited by like some of the mid-major schools. Um, and but but to me college was always about going to like a big school and as I was getting recruited by these smaller schools people would always tell me like you got to go somewhere that you'll be happy if basketball wasn't in the picture and, and that's what Ohio State was for me so I just decided to, to not play basketball and actually come here as a normal student and I, and I was a manager for about a week because uh, I want to stay plugged into basketball but they had me filling up water bottles and, and filming practice and stuff and that wasn't really what I was after so um, I quit doing that after about a week and then uh, I guess there are like three or four guys who were hurt in practice so they, they call me and they're like we need some bodies for practice you want to come back and walk on and I thought I was only going to be for like three or four days until they got better but I turned it into four years. I've been hearing a lot of talk that some of you mother think I can't play basketball. People really don't know if he could play you know he, he has game. You being a little humble, you had offers from Ivy League schools too. Yeah. What, what did your parents say when you're like, I'm not going to the Ivy League, I'm going to Ohio State? They just wanted me to be happy, you know, like that's, that's kind of a cliche for parents to say, you know, we just want you to be happy, but um, they understood that basketball wasn't my life, it was something I enjoyed doing, and they knew if I was happier here, then uh, they told me to go for it. Explain for the people who, the few people that aren't following you yeah. on Twitter or reading your blog, uh, what Club Trillion is, because it sounds like a rap group, that's not what yeah. it is. What does Club Trillion mean? Um, Club Trillion, well, it used to be three guys, um, uh, three of us who are actually all roommates right now, we used to sit on the end of the bench, and so the Trillion concept is that we would play one minute at the end of the game, and we wouldn't really do anything. We'd have no stats of any significance. We'd just kind of run up and down the court a few times. So our box score would be one followed by a bunch of zeros. It looked like a trillion. And so like the club was, was us three, you know, we're the club trillion. So that's kind of how the name came about. So. And then the blog and the, the man, the myth, the legend uh -huh. takes off. I think for me, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, the huge difference is when Bill Simmons co-signed. Yeah. Did that take you to another stratosphere? Because he has yeah. a man crush on you. Uh, B Bill Simmons, definitely. I mean, I never understood how much pull like ESPN really has, you know. And uh, after, I, after I went on his podcast, it started to become a big deal. Like before, I was just writing it for fun, just kind of having a good time. But then after that, I had so many people like email me and tell me like, you know, I love your blog, you're a great writer and all this stuff. And I started taking it more serious. Now I kind of feel a little bit of pressure. I understand, you know, Club Chill's blowing up out of proportion. You don't want to, you know, get your money right, get your hustle, selling some t-shirts. Obviously, NCAA puts a kibosh to that, but you turned it into a good thing. And now you're selling the Club Chill t-shirts for a good cause. Yeah, um, I, as my blog started to get real popular, a lot of people were asking for t-shirts, you know, I just wonder where I represent you know, Club Chill a little bit. But um, like you said, NCAA cracked down on that, said I couldn't do it. But then they, they, they discovered that if I donate the money to a charity, um, it, it would all be cool. So I picked a local charity in Ohio. Uh, it, it benefits kids with life-threatening illnesses, you know, like these little kids with leukemia and, and cancer stuff. There's any sort of illness that, you know, like, like they don't really have much to live for, but they don't know it, you know. So they, they're so little kids and they're so energetic to, to just be alive and just to be able to run around and do some stuff. And, and I, was, I was really inspired by these little kids when I was around them. Um, we were working some clinics. Here at, here at the uh, gym, so um, I picked them, and, and so far we've raised over twenty thousand dollars just through the t-shirt. So that's, it's pretty rewarding. That's the coolest part about the about the whole experience I've had so far. Let your Canadian homies know, your your Canadian trillionaires know, 
uh, what they can do to support if they want a, a Club Trill t-shirt? Oh yeah, you can just go to my website, clubtrillion.com, and there's a link on there to it, but um, their website is actually akidagain.org. Um, yeah, that's the name of the charity. They want to make kids feel like they're a kid again, so that's how they came up with the names. The score, we kind of like to have a, a different take on sports, a, a curveball, if you were a lighter take. Um, so you'd fit right in with the crew. I was speaking on behalf of my bosses, clearly, you know, Levy and Sansoni, they don't know I'm doing this, but I'm offering you, you know, a contract. If you want to come to Canada and, and get down, you can for sure, because you got some history, you know, your dad's roommate was Butch Carter, Butch right? Carter, yeah. Toronto. Was a coach of the Raptors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, we were up in Canada this summer, you know, on the, on the little tour. So All right. I, I like Canada. I'm, I'm cool with Canada. All right. So. Well, Canada definitely cool with you. Uh, like I said, you got a place at the score anytime. Appreciate it. All right. Man. I feel like I'm an honor. Right. Club <laughs> trail. I love it.